Here at Southland Organics, we help growers find effective, lasting natural solutions for natural problems at a molecular level. Our goal is to help your farm be as strong and sustainable as possible. Now, last week we discussed how to set your windrow up for success through balancing your key components of temperature, width, depth, and moisture. Now, we'll go through best practices to maximize the annihilation of bad bacteria in the windrow. use some, some type of machine, whether it be a blade on a tractor or a machine that actually moves the litter side to side, and put it into the piles. Now, after about three or four days, it's done most all of what it's going to do, and you want to flip it. You want to roll it out and split it into, into other piles. That way it takes what's on the outside, covers it up, and heats all of the litter. The outer portion of the, of the pile may not reach your target temperature of 135, so when you roll it, it helps to make sure that all of the litter is effectively heated up. In constructing windrows, timing is essential. Completing a minimum of two heat cycles is recommended, but I know sometimes you aren't given enough time to turn two full heat cycles. If you do have time, that's great. Then allow a few days for the litter to dry and ammonia to dissipate. As our friend Jason Jackson just explained, when the core heat of a windrow pile peaks around 12 to 24 hours, it will slowly start to cool. Heat then begins to transfer from the center to the outside layer. It is necessary to turn the windrows from the outside to the inside three to four days after the initial formation to help ensure each part of the pile reaches ideal annihilation temperature, which is 135 degrees. This helps ensure you kill the maximum amount of bacteria. As good as this sounds, you just annihilated the good with the bad. All you've done is wipe the slate clean making a perfect environment for the bad bacteria to take over. You need to repopulate the good natural defenses. Our next video will go into the most critical step to keeping a healthy environment and flock, repopulation of good bacteria. It's one you won't want to miss. If you need help with your windrow, strengthening your natural defenses, or simply would like to learn more, the Southland Organics team is here. Connect with me, Alan Reynolds, at 800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. And don't forget to subscribe because we are constantly adding great educational content to help you keep your farm healthy.